I got the horses and the burger. Let's go. What up fans? Today I'm in Tivoli Park, the biggest and most beautiful park in all of Ljubljana, Slovenia. The park is incredibly lush. There's beautiful flower gardens, awesome sculptures, a museum, a castle, hiking trails for all experience levels, and cafes and restaurants as well. I came here at the absolute perfect time because the leaves are just starting to change. I don't know about you guys, but I love fall. The colors, the smells, all that stuff. Anyways, I didn't come to this park to walk the trails or check out the art or do any of that stuff. Nay, no pun intended. Being an investigative snack journalist often means I have to try foods that you would never try in your life, and I particularly don't have any interest in trying. Well, because Snack Chat Live is all for the fans, today I'm about to chow down on a very controversial dish. Interesting, unique aroma to it. Guys, just check this out. This bun is massive, the burger's massive, the patty is the size of a horse. So I asked the guy what he recommended. He said, I gotta go with the traditional horse burger. He said it's the best thing on the menu. So I got it with lettuce, tomato, onion. There's a little bit of pepperoncini in there, ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Pow. Mmm. Okay, it kind of reminds me of like a burger you would find at maybe a gas station. It's got a very fatty texture to it. Really hard to put my finger on the actual flavor, the taste of it. Mm. The horse meat is a really kind of slimy texture to it. I can't say I'm really digging it. This is straight up a fast food burger. All the ingredients, looking around, making making sure the owner's not listening. Uh, all the ingredients, very, very low quality. You know, everything tastes like it came out of a bag. Horse patty, probably frozen at some point. I wanna thank everybody who tuned in to watch me eat horse for the first and definitely the last time. Nothing about this burger would keep me coming back or craving horse any other time in my life. Very fatty, kind of a weird meat flavor overall to it. And just, guys, that slime texture, not, not good. Thank God for the toppings on here, even though they're pretty low quality. They still kind of made up for the weird, funky flavor of the horse. I wouldn't get it again. Horse meat, well, I found out it's not really for me. The total cost was 6 euro 40, and for the amount of food, again, this thing is absolutely gigantic. It is a pretty good value, but from a taste perspective, eh, not the best. Fans, this is a 1.8 rocket ship burger. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed their review. My name was Brent Tim. This was Hot Horse. This is Snack Chat Live, and I'm saying ciao for now.